and I dreamed it this morning. Good morning, guys. This morning, Fiona messaged me and said, "You'll never believe my dream." And I said, "You know what I dreamed? I dreamed my coat is missing. Oh my gosh, where's my coat? I think my my I think my coat is in the truck. Ah! Now my purse is missing. All right. So basically, this is what I dreamed. I dreamed. Ah! Oh, now I can't find mitts. You guys, this is awful. So basically. Basically, I dreamed that we were rushing, like, ah, we're gonna be late for taking my horses somewhere. Do I have a helmet in here? No. Can't find my helmet. Ah! At least I knew, at least I knew that this was gonna happen though. And I got my boots. Oh God, where's my helmet? This is my helmet. Please be my helmet. No. No. Yes. So basically, I dreamed that we were all running and rushing to take our horses somewhere. There you are. Heck of cold. Not the kind of day I want to ride. Holes in my mitts. I got holes in my mitts and my fingers are already frozen. Literally all I have is money, boots, and a helmet. So hopefully that's all I need. When I go into panic mode, I can't think beyond that. Basically what happened was that Fiona said that we could have our second lesson today at our old barn because Kaylee rides there on Saturdays and we're, having, we're struggling getting time to ride to get into the barn like it's just not coordinating well so we wanted our second lesson i didn't get to ride this week so i wanted to ride so please let me have more mitts in here oh, yes um so we get to go today but she didn't tell me what time until today this morning so i had to message the barn owner and say hey is it all right if we drive in like i can't just drive in our horses without checking with her first so then of course she's doing chores and was super busy and then the time it was just bad and then literally at the last second we're supposed to be there in 10 minutes actually we're late the very last second she's like sorry i was at the bar and i'm like i know and i already knew that this was going to happen because i dreamed that we were all running around screaming hoping to get finished and sophie was crying but there was no tears today huh you have mitts yeah Okay, because I do not want any cold I girls. Have, I think I have the other one of the six there. Today, I am going to canter storm. Hopefully. So yeah, hopefully that happens. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. The horses do not look incredibly impressed. They're like, what's happening? We're going again. Something I didn't tell you guys is that at our new barn, our new barn, and this is where I think people get hung up on what looks beautiful and what is beautiful. Something can not look beautiful and be beautiful. Our new barn is not state of the art. They're the kindest people. It's such an amazing environment. And I'm proud to have my kids there and proud to have my horses there. Um, she told me that they ordered a bunch of sand to put in the paddock to level it out and wood chips to put whatever kind is not poisonous to horses uh wood chips on the bottom to to help fix the mud and to make it better uh for them and they're just staying there for a few months and i thought that was so incredibly kind of them all right so we are here flash from the you can see where he your coat, so. flash from the past in legs. oh yeah can oh, you guys see it no coat. well it's not that he didn't grow a coat there it's he that doesn't the grow the blanket makes you not grow a coat. That's what it's meant to do. So I know now. He looks so the hair falls out. That's why I hate blanketing. It's not the hair falls out. They just keep their hair. It's not their summer hair. Well, it's one of that or the other. Finn and he he looks like he knew the place. Does Finn like to ride here? Yeah. He sure does. Oh gosh, Sophie, did you brush your hair? No. Is your shirt dirty? Yeah. All right, let's get going. Finn, you gonna be a good boy? You are handsome today, though. I like a hairy man, apparently. 
Wow, look at him. Like, what a difference. Can you guys see it? Like, he's so much blacker. I think the hair fell out because he was all thick. Like this. And then now, like this. Wow. He's like, oh, touch me. Sure. Storm, I'm going to ride you today. He's like, what? <laughs> get ready. Yeah, I need my brushes, bro. Go get them. I am going to ride you, and I'm better than I was before. I'm lighter than I was the last time I rode you. I'm going to canter you, okay? He said yes. He said yes. He's like, oh God, what did I say yes to? Yes. I'm going to ride you, okay? You're going to be a happy boy? I take that as a good sign because since the last time I rode Storm, he started like bucking a little more. So yeah, I don't want him to buck me off. Don't buck me off, okay? Okay? He's like, I'm not going to commit to that. <laughs> don't buck me off, okay? Did you yes. steal the hay? When you forget that they have hay out here. Please say hi to me. So I'm like, I'll say hi. Say hi. Let them say hi. Oh. Hi, best friend. Hi, best Aww. friend. Aw. Aw. Look at Tex. I love that that kind of... Okay, get ready. It's about to happen, Jen. Hold on tight. Aw. <laughs> the ground, okay? Boom. <laughs> yeah. I did I tell you or did I tell you? <laughs> you see, his headphones almost healed. I told you. They heal really quick. Oh, that was so minor. Oh. It was not that minor. It was so bad. Did you see bone? Yes, almost. <laughs> she didn't even look right into it. Yeah, yeah it was that was bad. She called me. Emergency! Uh, Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> Is that why you didn't believe me when I was laying broken on the ground? Emergency! <laughs> Emergency! Yeah. Update on Gabby's boots. They are exchanging them for us. They're going to exchange them, give us the correct pair. And that'll be over, thank goodness. It's always stressful when something like that happens, especially when you buy something from far away, like at the Royal, and we can't go back there because it's not even open anymore. Um, uh, but the company was like so phenomenal. If I can uh, share any more information about it than that, I will have to ask the lady. But yeah, they were phenomenal. Like, you know how you go out there in the world and salespeople sometimes are not awesome? This company was the absolute opposite of not awesome they were amazing and kind and just wonderful okay so we got gabby's boots in the back i honestly best company ever greenhawk amazing just pure amazing like never had a bad never ever had a bad experience with greenhawk headed to costco now um and i wanted to tell you guys something gabby recently discovered um spinach dip and she's in love with it so the other day she's like can you give me some spinach dip and I forgot so I just sent her a message a few minutes ago it was so funny it made me laugh out loud she's she gets her sarcasm from me you guys it's just normal because she she because I'm sarcastic so anyways I said you know me to her I said Gabby I'm really proud of how you've been hate behaving lately you've been um not saying what you think sometimes and being polite and working through your issues without saying them. And she has been, especially like at lessons and stuff. She's been really like more quiet and more reflected and not talking, you know, 
sassy and stuff. And I said, I'm really proud of you. And I said, and I'm gonna get you some spinach dip and some good bread or crackers to dip it in, because that's just the kind of mom I am. Like, I'm proud of you, I love you, I am gonna get you something that I know that you want, but just know that I, I've recognized that you're doing so much better. And so I said, I'm gonna get you some spinach dip. And she said, mm, give me a gingerbread ice cap. Kelly says they're good. <laughs> I just was like laughing, she was funny. Sam, which child in our house? Sam is, is having a hard time. Plan. Sam's having a hard time realizing that our girls are big. We're in Costco. Costco. And what did you say? Yeah. What did you say this morning? What did you send me a message when you were in the barn? You said, hey, you want to go to the Christmas thing and see Santa today? Sorry. No, not Santa. This is me. I like looking at curriculum stuff. Oh, the girls and I want to do calligraphy so bad. 20 bucks for a kit. I'll have that for you for Christmas. I like it. I, we want to learn calligraphy. I want to learn calligraphy. Isn't it so pretty? Is a Christmas present? Well, I don't know, like... Somebody? It doesn't look like... Where's the ink? Oh, there's just an extra ink. You gotta buy the extra ink. Food. Yeah, we came for the food, so let's go to the food. Spoken like a real Sophie. Oh, here's, uh, Lego. Lego. I'm going to be buying Brooklyn Schleich this year. It's going to be my first year buying her Schleich. I'm going to buy her a barn and stuff. So, but I do want to get her into Lego too. No, our girls don't ever play that. Squishmallows. They're actually really comfy, like really soft. Learn to play the piano. Oh, smartwatch for kids. Oh. <laughs> Spirit. And that is a fancy dollhouse if I ever saw one. Is that a horse? Oh my gosh, a, a dollhouse with a horse stable on the side. Like, what are the chances? Why didn't they ever have that when our kids were little? They will love that. Look at that. A greenhouse and a horse stable. This is nice. It's the box set. Illustrated collection. Gabby would probably like that. That's what I need right there for Jacob for Christmas. Isn't it adorable? Police motorcycle. Right, I'm going to do a quick little haul. Saturday shopping. Who remembers that? So we got pita bites for Gabby's dip. They didn't give us a bag. They didn't even ask us if we wanted a bag. I got they don't, bags there. they don't give bags there. I got pajamas for Brooklyn, pajamas for Jacob, matching pajamas for Jacob and Jack. Did you guys hear me tell Stella? I'll bring you treats soon, Stella. I have been lacking in the treat department. So I got the biggest bag of carrots for Stella and all the rest of them. Oh, it's something for my birthday. Can I show them? Okay, don't pretend to be surprised when I get it. But Sam got me uh weighted a blanket it's just a gray blanket it's 15 pounds 15 pound blanket if you guys don't know about weighted blankets uh they make you feel cozy um gabby's spinach dip i got her a two pack of a baby bell cheese they had it on sale and my kids love this stuff and i i don't mind buying it when it's on sale oranges and dumplings do you guys remember when we were in toronto when we went to the dumpling store i legit crave those things every day they were so good so we're gonna have dumplings tonight if they're even a tiny bit as good as the ones that we had mm. right home james you ready let's go home take care of our horses have supper edit and then just oh and then we'll just have time to go to sleep <laughs> That's how busy life is, but I wouldn't trade it for the world, you guys. Like, today I was thinking about how when we were going into the barn to, to ride our horses. Anyway, I was thinking about it when I was walking into the barn with the horses. I was thinking that you guys make this so special for, for me, and maybe it's my ego, I don't know what it is, but it, ne it would never feel the same without you guys. Like knowing that you guys love our horses as much as we love our horses makes them seem extra special. Do, do, does that make sense? Like 
like you know how grandparents love your kids and they're like oh your kids are so wonderful and then you feel like this amazing feeling it's like that for me with you guys and our horses like having you guys share our journey is so unbelievably amazing and we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers so soon we're gonna be doing a giveaway and now we're back drifting just roll the island we still swim but we can't see land and so we're on Gabby, we got Kaylee on the phone, and we got Sophie, and Sophie plays um, with one of our subscribers. All right, I'm My nervous. Okay, so they fit. Better than the nines, because the nines are smaller. What? Pinch. Oh. When it pinches you right away. Like, and I can't zip them up all the way because the lady says that I have to get. Yeah, the lady said, if you can zip them up all the way, then they're too big. So they're too big. <laughs> makes that me nervous, make though. They'd be too small. Like no, everybody no, says the same thing. They stretch so out. Much. They stretch out a lot. Right. You so you need to wear them for a couple of days. I'm wearing them today. Yeah. See, that's as much as I could zip it up. That's okay. Can't wait to ride in them when I can't even bend my foot. Can't even bend her foot. So yeah, they're gonna fall and they're gonna stretch out and it's all gonna be okay. Fall. Yeah, they slide down, right, yes, Kaylee? They do slide down a yeah. lot. Mine slid down over the past. But the year. fact that they're winter makes me think that it'll be a little bit different, only because um, it's like felt in there. Uh, no, it's insulated. I wish I had, yeah, it's insulated. I wish I had warm boots. All right, I'm going to make supper. I do not know what's in this video. I apologize if there's no horse action in this video. There will be tomorrow because tomorrow we have no plans but to spend time with our horses. Today it was just a shopping day. Don't look at my hair. This is what happens when I have helmet head and then headband head. Anyway, I, so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Make Kaylee say bye. Say goodbye, Kaylee. Bye. <laughs>